week seven, I think. Week seven, is it? Yes, I think it is. I should really work these things out before I switch. Press record, shouldn't I? Um, day 26, Monday, lovely day. Sun's shining and it's quite warm, so I'm kind of overdressed. Especially seeing as I can't get a shower when I get back in for a while, so I'll have to sit stewing in my own mess while I have video calls with people. Lucky them. <laughs> uh, 40 easy minutes today after yesterday's hour and a half. Here's some traffic. And uh, the highlight of today's run so far has been seeing the knacker truck at three different farms. So I guess the livestock's not doing so well. It's a shame. Anyway, I'll get back to enjoy my run. Speak to you later. Tuesday, and we're uphill into the wind. My favorite. It's a bit warmer today, it's Thursday. Oh, there's my hand, Thursday. It's a bit warmer. Um, but as you can probably hear, there's quite a wind. And that wind is coming from behind me at the moment. But I'm uh, 16 minutes in to a 35 minute easy run. So I'll be turning round very soon. And I'll be going that way. And the wind will be in my face again as I go back uphill. The joys, the joys of running in Scotland in autumn. Friday and uh, oh, there's a car coming. Hang on. Not coming after all, it's turning around. Um, it's Friday and uh, a quick 25 minutes, and I've discovered something my technical woes. Hopefully, playback will prove are over. I've discovered why my pictures were so jiggly, shaky all over the place. Um, <laughs> I have a master's degree in computing. You'd think I would understand these things, but it was a long time ago. Um, because I was using the wrong camera using the FaceTime camera which has no image stabilization on it whereas hopefully this one does the only problem is I can't tell whether I'm in the frame or not so it could all be for naught anyway quick 25 minutes out the sun's gone down behind the hill so it'll be getting dark soon dark soon, but can start quickly up, up north. Um, yeah, out and back, 25 minutes, and then I'm done. And I'll uh, commence the TV watching. Onward. The joy of going backwards and forwards in the same spot every day, back up the hill in the wind. And I seem to have gone out in what passes for rush hour around here. I have to keep stopping and getting off the road to let people pass. But when the sky looks like that, it's not all bad, is it? It's Sunday and uh, long run day today, 95 minutes. I've done about half an hour of it already. So running between this old beach hedge up this hill and then we're going to turn off onto the Southern Upland Way for a bit, follow that down towards the sea and then back up the hill home. So that should be about enough. Absolutely miserable, raining, cold. Of course this morning it was beautifully sunny 
it's still cold, but uh, I was in no fit state to go running anywhere this morning. I had one or two sherbets too many yesterday afternoon at my friend's house. Silly, but there you go. It's supposed to be a grown up, but sometimes I don't know when to, when to be sensible. So, I had a bit of a snooze just after lunchtime and then headed out in the clag. Uh, so we'll see how we get on, but feeling okay so far, just a bit wet. Unfortunately, this stretch of the Southern Upland Way avoids some farmhouses and always takes me into this field. And there's always cows who are always very inquisitive and I always have to wade through what I hope is mud around the gates where the cows gather there's always a quagmire of yuck and uh, I'm in inappropriate shoes today no trail shoes I mean we're, I'm in road shoes still so I thought I was going to lose them at one point there but they're still fighting on Is the sun going to make an appearance just before it goes down? I hope so. At least the rain stopped for now. That wind's still cold. Be always warm enough if you can keep moving. Ever onward. Been on the go an hour. And that's us made it down to the A1, which I now have to cross, would you believe? So, fingers crossed, and I managed to survive it. All right, here we go. Looks clear. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> we survived. So we're off through the gorse. Onto the old A1. Over the railway. And into the trees. And I think I've misjudged, as usual. So I'll be going a little bit further than my uh, one hour 35 today. But it's all good. Onward. One of the uh, weirder things about running through here is that I'm on the Southern Upland Way I'm in this glorious wood. I'm about to climb up a very steep hill. But, if you can see it, there's a train. That's the East Coast Main Line running right next to me. And just the other side of the railway line, you might be able to pick up the sound of the A1 and the traffic going past. So all of this, just within touching distance of civilization. People are thundering past every day. No idea this is here. And every time I come out, I hardly see anybody. There's nobody on it, which is a crying shame. But Southern Oakland Way is a great path, a great long distance trail. But it's one that's very rarely, very rarely walked. So everyone, come on, let's go. Come see it, it's fantastic. Now I'm leaving the Southern Upland Way. <laughs> you can't see me. Leaving the Southern Upland Way and crossing the bridge here at uh, Pease Dean. When this bridge was built in the 17th century, it was the tallest bridge in all of Europe, if not the world. That's my 95 minutes up, um, and I'm, I'm only just here. 
Well, this is here at Tower Castle, which is fine. Um, and a very nice little ruin it is too. But I've still got about half an hour to go. Still about half an hour to go. So um, I guess I just have to do it. <laughs> uh, so that'll be me. Well, we'll see when we get to the end how long it's been. But uh, it's been nice though. Always nice to get out. I mean, sticking religiously to the training program is great because, you know, there's some science in it and I will get fit incrementally, which is the whole point, without injuring myself. Um, but equally, it's just nice to be out in the countryside. Um, yeah, it's nice to be out. Oh my gosh, hard work getting up that, I tell you. Anyway, onward. So, the sun's gone down, and the sensible thing would seem to be to stay off the road and get on a footpath. Um, and there's an old right of way. Not that we have many of them up here in Scotland, but there's an old right of way here, it's an old track. Um, called Chesterfield Road, something along those lines. And so I decided to come up and follow that. <laughs> but it's a total nightmare. It's uh, not overly long because it's late in the year, but it's thick in brambles and nettles and, uh, and it's soaking wet. My shoes now are absolutely sodden and my shins are all scratched. No doubt I've picked up ticks and I'm going to get Lyme disease or something. I shouldn't joke about that. But yeah, so <laughs> I'm committed now. I'll keep going. It's hard to run on it though. I'm scared. I don't want to turn my ankle. But anyway, we'll keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> 